All right, welcome back to Casual Throw for a fresh episode of Slightly Unstable. I think we're going to put uh, Mr. Get Off My Lawn Guy on the sidelines for a little bit. I've been kind of doing a lot of that recently and just have a 100% positive episode. And in this one, I want to talk about my top five favorite yo-yos that I own. My criteria for picking out my favorite yo-yos, I tried to put aside the purely nostalgia factor, my uh, Playmax, Proyo, Turbo Bumblebee, a few others would have certainly been in the mix had been purely on those grounds. But how I'm classifying these as my favorites is these are the ones that I reach for the most. These are the ones that I want to play with the most. And these are all going to be 1A yo-yos. So let's get to it. I'm going to go one through five, and I'm going to say this. One was number one with a bullet, no question for me. It got a little bit murky there. I had trouble with two and three, and then rounding out the top five was very difficult. In a lot of ways, this was the most challenging video that I've made from the standpoint of making decisions. I can be a very indecisive individual, so narrow, you know, rounding out the top five with numbers four and five was really difficult. So I think I'm going to have to do a you know, a next five favorite, you know, number six through 10 at some point. But at any rate, number one, no surprise, and that's kind of why I'm starting with number one for me, is the one, the only freshly dirty rooster. I've raved about this yo-yo a lot. I love what the D-bearing brings to the table. And there's just something about the shape and the size that just really connects with me. On this yo-yo, it's probably the single yo-yo that I reach for the most. Like, I'm not going to even hedge it. It's, it is the yo-yo that I reach for the most often. It, it, it tends to remain out of my case in my, my little lineup where uh, in my living room where I keep my throws that I'm currently playing. It's there more often than any other yo-yo. It is just that one for me. You know, if I was stranded on a desert island and I can only take one yo-yo, hopefully a lot of string and some spare bearings, it would be the freshly dirty rooster. Now, number two is where it started to get tough because I had two candidates, really strong candidates for my number two yo-yo, and I ended up going with the H-Spin I-Yo-Yo Pyro X. Um, there is some similarity for me between that and number one in terms of the general overall shape and size and all that, but obviously... The IOYO uh, H-Spin Pyro X has a C bearing. It's made out of 7075 aluminum rather than the bimetal here. And it's just a yo-yo that I think performs really well, but I just have an absolute blast playing with it. And it's probably number two-ish as far as how often it's out of the case and in my play area. And it's just a, a yo-yo that I really, really enjoy slinging around. Number three, and this, again, that was a tough decision between two and three, uh, is another D-bearing throw, another bimetal, and that is the Circle City P40 Warhawk. It's definitely a yo-yo that has far more power uh, than I need. Sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm a, I'm a Ford Focus with a Ferrari engine when I'm playing with this sort of thing. It's just absolute overkill but i have just an absolute blast with it everything uh it has a lot of similarities for me as far as the uh freshly dirty rooster goes in terms of the sound the feel the benefits the extra zip of the d bearing and you know it's pretty well documented that i'm an absolute d bearing junkie so the inclusion of the p40 warhawk in my top five should not at all be surprising and out of uh, all of my yo-yos in the top five that i pick here this is probably the single best performing out of the bunch and I should say that so far all three of these I've done uh, in-depth reviews on so if you want to check those out I'll card them and you can get more depth on those but the last two I haven't done reviews on I don't know why but I just haven't um, that and the number four and again four five really tough decisions I had a pool of about five yo-yos that I considered uh, for those two spots so I'm sure the other three the other three will uh, be in the next video, 6 through 10. But number 4, tough decision even between these two, uh, the Monkey Finger and One Drop Collab, the Fire Devil Ridgeback. Straight up V-shaped yo-yo. I love these little grooves, the ridges in it. Uh, 
This is the one out of this bunch that I got the most recently. It's about a little over two months ago now, and I did try to eliminate any sort of recency bias in these where, the, you know, I wanted to make sure that I was fully out of the honeymoon phase with these. And that's the one I most recently had. The other ones are all, you know, six, seven plus months uh, ago that I got, and I still play them a ton. But anyway, I just love this C bay ring throw. Something about it just connects with me. I mean, it does... Uh, everything that I like to do, you know, pretty well. And there's really not a lot to say about it other than it looks awesome, plays nicely, super fun. Number five. And this one is very near and dear to my heart. It does have the, the uh, sort of uh, that factor into it, the emotional piece, but I still pick it up a ton, even though this is the oldest of the, you know, in terms of me owning it, of the high-end-ish yo-yos that I have. And this is a one-drop Countach 5K QV. Even though the uh, iYoYo H-Bin Pyro X is also made out of 7075 aluminum, this yo-yo to me really epitomizes how a company can capitalize on 7075 aluminum to really tweak the design from the original Countach and really just add so much power to this throw. Uh, I still play it with the flat bearing in it. It plays, you know, well enough for me. I'm sure it's going to turn if I get, you know, uh, sloppy with it. But, hey, I view it as a challenge to, I don't know, get gooder. So the that's my top five from the Freshly Dirty Rooster, the IOYO H-Bin Pyro X, the Circle City uh, Warhawk, the Monkey Finger and One Drop uh, Fire Devil Ridgeback, and then the One Drop 5K Q, V, Countach, whatever. All of those were a mouthful. But at any rate, my top five, the ones I play with the most and the ones that are nearest and dearest to my heart. Uh, let me know in the comments, you know, what some of your absolute favorite yo-yos are. Are any of these among your top favorite yo-yos? And uh, let me know if you wanted me to do a part two where I go through uh, six through 10 because I had a lot of tough cuts to make just to get it down to top five. All right, that's all, that wraps it up for this episode of Slightly Unstable. Hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you dropping by.